All right, so your Toyota Camry is not filling up with gas. It keeps, you start filling it up and it stops. Well, that's exactly what's happening to my vehicle and we'll see what we can do to uh, fix that issue. All right, so I got compressed air and a needle nose air blower. And what I'm gonna do, oops. I'm gonna open this gas cap up. And you know that hole I was pointing? So if you take a look, this hole right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna push air through this and this connects to the hose under the car and any junk that's in that hose will just uh, hopefully get pushed out. So let's, uh, let's see what comes out. All right, let's uh, see what comes out of there. All right, well, that didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, it's just unattached, and I'm just gonna poke in here to see if I can get anything out. I'm gonna take this out and check it out. I believe this is the charcoal canister. I'm wearing a, a face mask right now because there's stuff, dust coming out. So in order to take this out, what you do, it's on a bracket right here. So you need to push it toward or pull it towards uh, the end of the vehicle where the chunk is. So just pull it out. And it slides off that clip. And there's the canister right there. So connected to this tube. Okay. Off. So it looks like that's is uh, permanently on because I just snapped it off. You can see there that that plastic piece is snapped. So don't do that. And if we take a look back here. to see see the end of that hose right there so let's take a look at this so taking a look at this it's uh I don't understand why this uh, broke off. I think it's maybe just old. 
it should be from what I'm guessing exactly like this so it's unfortunate that it broke but if you can it's you can't see it through the camera but perfect light you can see that it is a kind of like a filter like an air filter in your engine There you go. So yeah, it has, it has, it looks like an air filter, but uh, from what I understand it's, uh, it's a carbon filter. So it holds all the, the gases from the fuel. All right, so taking a look, it's uh, unfortunately $100 for one of these canisters. So I think my plan of action is I'm going to uh, I'm going to blow it out, get all that dust out and crap out, and I'm going to super glue uh, the hose back onto here and tape it and make sure that it's secure on there. And I'm going to install everything back. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to give it a good blowout and we will. Uh, Trying to install it back in and see if this fixes the problem. All right, so I gave this uh, canister a really good clean. I uh, probably spent maybe 20 minutes just blowing out dust. There's so much dust that came out of here. Uh, maybe there's a leak or that's something that comes out of the fuel tank. I have no clue what it was. I made sure to wear a respirator while uh, blowing this out. Uh, the plan of action, I think, is gonna be using the Gorilla Glue. I'm going to just glue the hose back or the plastic piece for the, it's pretty much, I believe it looks like this and just, it broke off there. So I'm just uh, gonna glue it back. Um, I don't think this is a very important piece. I guess if you like saving the environment, then it's an important piece. But other than that, I'm not gonna spend 90 bucks on a brand new one. I'm just gonna, it back on and if it the hose comes off then it is what it is I guess so I am going to do that now all right so this is the hose right there that I'm gonna be gluing on you can see that little plastic part there that's the clip that holds the canister into place so super easy to be able to replace it if you can get this hose off oh yeah see look at all that dust This is me editing this video right now and I'm just gonna say it is not worth gluing the hose to the canister. It was just, it had an hour of footage of me trying to glue it and tried different glues. Gorilla glue, I tried hot glue, I tried to tape it together, I tried to hold it together. It's just not worth the time and the hassle. The issue was is that the hose is very tense so any slight movements while you're trying to hold the tubes a tube and the cancer together it would uh, break apart so would not recommend gluing it and yeah i would just if you really need to get a vapor canister filter then you can buy it it's quite expensive unfortunately and i personally did not buy a new one i just left the canister 
and I actually found that it fixed the issue. So the vapor canister filter was the issue. Uh, I guess it was not allowing the, the gas vapor from when you're filling up the, your tank to uh, filter through the filter fast enough. So um, this is my issue to my car and for myself, I did not reinstall a new one and my car's worked perfectly fine for the past six months. There's been no check engine light. I haven't really seen any inefficiency issues, so take that as you will. One last note, I just want to say that I don't understand why my canister broke like that. It seemed like the canister plastic was pretty thick and it wasn't that cold outside, so I don't understand why it was so brittle. I'm looking at this diagram right here and this is the hose I was able to get off perfectly fine. But this hose right here, unfortunately, was the culprit for my breakage at this point right there. So it looks like it's in three separate pieces and it should be able to just pull out. Maybe it was glued to the canister when it was installed. I don't know. So I don't know any other way how to take this canister off without uh, risking of breakage. So you could try to see what's on this end right here. I couldn't really be able to see. I, it's pretty far back. So maybe putting your car on a lift to be able to see would be fine but that's just my little note all right so we're at the gas station and we are going to fill up the car it's about uh, six degrees right now and it should not should not trip Gas tank is all full. See you there. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Just a recap on the video here. I had an issue of feeling my Camry, and unfortunately, fuel pump would stop working every five seconds. Super annoying thing I did to try to fix it was blow air through that vent earlier in the video. Did that, and a bunch of dust came out, and Unfortunately, that did not fix the issue. So, next issue was looking at this fuel canister. When uh, taking a look at this uh, vapor canister filter, I unfortunately broke it while taking it off, and I unfortunately don't know how or why it broke. The tube should have come off with off the canister and with that i tried gluing it and it's just not worth gluing the canister on back onto the vehicle so with that i just left it i didn't buy a new fuel canister because a new fuel canister is a hundred dollars it's super expensive so i left it off and it's been six months i've had no check engine light and my car has been feeling just fine so if you want to save some money don't buy a fuel canister unless if you want to make sure that you're save the, saving the environment. Other than that, it's not really worth uh, trying to replace that fuel canister and I will not replace it unless if I need to get an inspection on my vehicle. So with that being said, thanks again for watching. I hope this video helped you and hopefully you can figure out your issue and please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out.